Hey, what's up guys? I'm here to show you my Trapping Zombies Feet TG Striker. As a comment from a fellow YouTuber, Dirt McMuffin, I recommend you check him out. He has some great comment. I've got a little bit of everything. Well, not a little bit, but a little bit of TGs, Trapping and Zombies, all mixed in one deck. There must be... If someone could come up with a simple name for this deck, that'd be helpful. Because Traptic Zombies Feet TG Striker is a sentence full, I'll tell you that. But anyways, let's get into the deck profile and I'll explain my choices. Well, first off, I just want to show why I wanted to make this deck profile. I wanted to make Traptic goods in a way. Because obviously there's not enough of them. We all agree with that, they need more. But I wanted to make it around this guy, which is why I'm playing too. Underground Arachn Arachnid. I cannot pronounce this card name. I'll call it Underground Arach. It's a pretty decent decent card, especially against XYZs. I mean, Dragos Act shouldn't be a problem for this card. But I'll read you its effect. One Dark Tune plus one non insect type monsters. Monster. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spells and trap until the end of the so That is pretty good in itself. And then once per turn, you can select one face up monster your opponent across, controls, and equip it to this card. If this card would be destroyed by battle, you can destroy the monster that is equipped to this card instead. You can only equip one monster at a time. So it's basically a power tool dragon, in a way. Or uh, uh, Relinquish would probably be a better example. Basically, it's a Relinquish. It's a bit of an Armadus relinqu Relinquish in one, I suppose you could say. Apart from, apart from against Bujins, they can still activate Crane's effects. Sorry if you can hear any music. Uh, I'm currently playing uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I pre-ordered it yesterday. So, I'm pretty much playing that right now. Apologise if you hear hearing music. I doubt you will, though. But anyway, let's just get into the deck profile. Three Atora. Trap 6 Atora. Probably the second best Trap 6 monster in my opinion. It's unaffected by your trap cards and you can activate whole cards in your hand. Three Zombie Master. Well, it's pretty obvious. I did run two, but nah, I needed three. Two Mizuki, because you've got to run two. Three of the best Trap 6 monster. Merm my Mino, my Mino. Normal summit, you can add one whole card from your deck to your hand. When this card special summons, you can destroy one spell trap on the field. Or, or your opponent controls two goblins. Sorry, only two. I don't really need three because there's not really a lot of targets. One spirit reaper for the stall and the discard effect. If you've seen my deck replays, I do like attacking with reaper a lot. I do like going mar zombie master effect victims. Reaper, bring the reach of, uh, Reaper back a lot. Two Striker, basic, simple, simply for Barkion. Barkion, one of the best synchros in this format. If not, I'm going for the best synchro in this format. It's certainly up there. That's why I'm on TG Striker for Barkion, and TG Striker is probably the best tuner monster ever made. Two Plague on Zombie, because you can have two. One Elo for all the zombie darks. Only one book of life. I didn't want to run any more than one or two. Uh, any more than two and three, sorry. I thought one was perfect. One dark hole. One foolish. Two poor. You can you do special summon quite a lot in this deck. You'd be surprised. Oh, uh, much you special summon on this deck. Two poor, two early. Three MST back row can hurt, especially when you go for your play. Generally, if I have two or more back row, or even one back row sometimes, and I have TG Striker and a level 4 Earth, I will go for Barkion. I generally go for Barkion first. Because just Barkion first turn is great. One Barrel from a different dimension. I hardly ever use this card. Select up to 3 from my room of play monsters and return them to their own as graveyard. So you generally just do Mizuki, play Breaker Zombie. One Void Trap Hole, because I like Void Trap Hole. Two Trap Hole, because the old trap I have to play it. One bot mish can only play one. One trap trick, trap hole nightmare. Now that is a sentence. Yeah, I, I don't know about this card. I'm still not sure. Two mirror force, massive monster removal, one compulse. Yeah, only one of them, unfortunately. I reckon this will go back up to two. Three 
Call the Hunters. If they stop your plays, you can at least do Call the Hunt to bring them back. 1 7 tools ban it. Again, back row is a problem. When you haven't got back, okay, on, ow. back row can hurt this deck quite a lot. And now it's the extra deck. One Crimson Blader and one Dual Flare Dragon Stardust. Those are my only level 8 because you can simply make them with level 6 and level 2, for example. Two Barkion, I've already explained. Never really got into this guy, but he's just in there for Play Break Zombie and the other zombies. He's in there just because he can banish anything. It's great about this guy. You can uh, Vulcan, Divine, just return anything. Armaze. Oh, and you put Armaze in just for Reaper and Striper or Zombie and Reaper. Don't really go into them at all, if I'm honest. I mean, this extra deck ain't got any of the new cards that have been released. So, I mean, you can chop and change this. This whole deck as much as you want. Exorcise, Black Ship, Digin, Chain, Vistua, and Camel, all pretty obvious. And the side is just like, what I was thinking about at the time. I mean, three lands, obviously, you could go and send the MSTs if you wanted. It's up to you. Yeah, but generally, I quite. I quite like this deck, it's pretty good. I mean, you can make some great plays. As I said, you can take their exceeds and then attack with it. But as I said, the biggest weakness is probably back row. That's probably a lot of decks that's on that back row. So, that's my deck, that's my deck guys, and let me know what you think about it. And have a nice day.